What up, it's your boy DJ Mustard, and I'm finna walk you through how I made Show Me. All right, Rod, shut the fuck up. All right, so the inspiration I got for um, the Show Me record, it, uh, we went to Germany, and uh, this DJ, I forgot his name, man. I always forget his name. That's fucked up, yo. It's the homie, though. But uh, he was like, yo, you need, to, you need to tap into the house music. And I was like, all right. But I didn't take nothing. I just didn't think about it. So when I got back... I was uh, going through like sounds and shit with Mike Lee, and Mike Lee found the sound. And once he found it, he just played. He was listening. We was listening to that same song, and he played it. Dun, 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 dun. So he replayed the song because everybody don't know it's like a remake of Show Me. Oh, Robin S. Her name is Robin S. And that's how this came about. Hold on. But it's played slower than the uh, the real one. Dun, 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 dun. So, anyways, um, then once he gave me that. Sorry to cut you off. For people who don't understand, why would you replay versus sample? Because they could take less money. They will take all your money if you sample their. If you sample the master track, they will take all your money. But if you replay it like this, they can't take all of it. Because it's only an interpolation, if that's how you pronounce it or whatever. So we came up with that. And then I added my traditional haze. Haze. You know, then it's like, it's like, it's like, wait, press the wrong button, my bad. But that's like another like type of hay or whatever, but it's like a, like a hot sound. So then we added traditional haze. So it's two combined, and then uh, we had an open hat. And then this is all the normal, same normal shit. Then we added like the claps and shit. And we added snaps to make them fuller. So now it snaps and claps at the same time. Then we add a kick. Then an 808. And then if you really like pay attention, like in the verses, they wanted me to like add some other shit. Is that right here, huh, James? Mm -hmm. They wanted me to add like this like weird little bass line or something. At first I thought I didn't like it, I thought it was corny, but it worked. So that's where this comes in. And then we have the whole beat to show me. And then after you're done with that, you send it off to the engineer or James makes it or whoever. Most of the time, James makes all this shit, but they be hating on us sometimes. Was the beat pretty much all done when you gave it to, to Kid Ink? Oh, yeah, it was done. All the beats are done when I give them up, so. No, it wasn't. Was it? Yeah, it was done. It was done. And, um... I called T-Fly. T-Fly wrote the hook of the record. And... Chris Brown resung it and put his little twist on it. Kidding did his verses. And that was it. And now it's on the charts. Exactly. <laughs> how, how many tracks you got on the, on the top 100 charts? I just read that now? shit. We got eight now. Eight tracks. Eight percent of your hot 100. I'm trying to be 10 percent. We got to figure out what the record is for for producer of most tracks on. on top. I need producer of the year for every award show. Every one. All of them. I think I deserve it. Sure. I had an epiphany right now. The year's just getting started. You got a couple more tracks you're dropping on that top 100? Yeah, my single's gonna go. Some more stuff off YG album. 
Ty, I'm finna executive produce Ty album. Well, so he told me that, but I hope you, they really let me do it. Uh, you executive producing Beaver's album, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm speaking that into existence, man. J hey, JB, tell me, man, we got some shit cracking. We can get it cracking, man. Get it cracking. No, I'm just not. We, he do got some shit, though, some tight shit. I ain't heard the other shit he did, but I know that the one. That shit is hard, the Instagram one. How much percentage of your tracks would you say you actually make with the artist on the spot? How much is already pretty much done? The only person I make shit with on the spot is Young Jeezy and YG. And is that just the comfort level? Or? I did some shit with Nelly on the spot. Uh, but for the most part, it's just YG and Jeezy because that's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? That's who I be with. So for the most part, them, everybody else, I just send beats to or I take them beats and do them. But as like, far as me making a beat on the spot, Jeez, on that you mentioned your single coming out, which yeah. is not Vato for your album. What, what is your single coming out for your album? It's called Down On Me, and it's featuring Ty and 2 Chainz. And that shit is a movie. When can people expect that to drop? Any day. You never know. I might just get crazy one day and just... You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no preparation for this shit. I might just get off. I might just drop that shit out of nowhere. And everybody be like, oh, panicking. Where do I get it? Where do I get it? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like the, uh, I'm going to drop it like the Beyonce album. No, I'm, I'm going to drop it like some J, like the Yeezys. Ain't nobody going to know. <laughs> when it come out, though, shit going to sell like the Yeezys. Feel me? Yeah. That, that'll be track number nine. Man, you just need one more. You get ten on the top one. Exactly. All I need is ten. I got. Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna t t t l l l l listen. Give me like. Give me like two months. I'm gonna be on that thing. Kendrick, my dog. He just texted me yesterday. He's uh he's working on a new album. Yes, he is. Can we expect a collaboration? You damn you? right. You damn right. He told me you want me to yell on some shit. Okay. You know, like I be doing my fat man scoop shit. Yeah. We going long trip. It's, it's coming. Back it's coming. It's coming yeah. because I feel like nobody do that no more. Nobody want to have fun. Everybody want to be so serious and shit. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to turn up. Trying to have a party. That's what I'm trying to do. What does a Kendrick Mustard record sound like? I could not tell you. I do not know. I don't even know what the outcome of that is gonna be, but I know it's gonna be greatness. You sent him some beats already, or you... nah? He told me he's gonna. I was gonna. He want me to pull up on him. Okay. So I'm gonna pull up. You know, figure it out. It's gonna be something hard. I know me and Terrence Martin was working on shit for him, but it didn't. You know, saying so we didn't do it yet, but it's gonna come. It's gonna. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard. I know that for sure. Got a shorty named Texas Sin. She got a buddy named Young JB, and now you know the deal. We turned up in the studio late night. That's why the songs that you hear coming real tight. A lot of hip hop DJs are crossing over to EDM so they can play those big festivals. Yes, sir. But, uh, yes, they are. That, that is not something that's in your foreseeable I just future. I feel like they don't have to do that. I feel like it's cool because I want to do EDM too. I think that's dope. But it's just like, why, why can't a hip hop DJ do that? Why can't I go? I, I can. I know it's possible because I just did it. You know what I'm saying? I just did the Ray Benz thing, South by Southwest. I did this. I'm doing a, a Briss Bodega tour with uh, Briss, and I feel like that's surrounded by a hip hop DJ. I'm not doing. I don't do EDM records right now. Surrounded by a hip hop DJ. Why, why can't we do that? And they can. I just feel like they're so quick to jump to EDM. They don't think like we could just play our own music. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been doing. I did a show with my, my with my nigga Young Chop before. He don't even DJ. But he could do a show, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if people start pressing that line that we can do whatever we want to do, it'll be more influence. But it'll just be like, oh, well, we can't we can't get shows like them because they do EDM. No, you can bring out the same amount of people. A lot of people like hip hop. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't just like EDM. Make your hip hop build up like the EDM. And that's no disrespect for the EDM because all my homies, I got a lot of homies. Diplo, I met Skrillex before. Uh, who else? I really fuck with Diplo. Cashmere, Cashmere Cat, that's the homie. Uh, Disclosure, they hard as fuck. Like, I, I seen they hard as shit. Who else? Um, like I went to the Horror Fest. That shit was like, that shit changed my life. But that also made me feel like you could just be a hip-hop DJ and do that too. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
And I'm actually playing a hard fest this year. I'm playing all hip hop. Oh yeah? That's yeah. Tough. All hip hop.